Ah, hello and welcome back to this zinc-plated episode of Scope, which is of course all about zinc, but not just this sort of zinc, also, uh, well, this sort of zinc, and even this sort of zinc. Hmm. Was it? Can't see any zinc there? Well, there is some there. Maybe you'll believe me after you see this. On cricket grounds, in backyards, and at the beach, zinc cream protects Aussie faces from our harsh sunshine. And I'm going to let you in on how it works. Hi, I'm Howard from Baxter Laboratories, and here are a few things to know about zinc cream. This stuff has been used as a sunscreen for decades, and you usually see it smeared on those parts of the face that are most prone to sunburn, noses, cheeks and lips. When it's manufactured on an industrial scale, zinc cream is made in massive vats. But today, I'm going to keep things nice and simple by mixing some up in our lab. We start with a beaker that contains all the oil-soluble ingredients we want to put in our cream, like waxes, thickeners, and essential oils. And we heat this mixture up. Then, we start stirring it with our homogenizer. Next, we're going to add the key ingredient in all zinc creams, a white powder called zinc oxide. Zinc oxide has a wide range of useful properties and it's used to make products ranging from plastics to batteries to paints. It's added to sunscreens because of its ability to reflect light. But I'll talk more about that later. Right now, I need to mix in my water-soluble ingredients for my cream. These include stabilizers and salts, and after they've been added to the creamy solution, it needs emulsifying or stirring for about a day to make sure the water-based ingredients are evenly dispersed throughout the oil. And after that, it's time to add some color to the cream. These non-toxic fluoro pigments can be used to make heaps of very cool colored creams, but today we're making a batch of pink zinc cream. And when the color has been thoroughly mixed in, the zinc cream is ready to put on. So how does this stuff provide protection against sunburn? By reflecting sunlight off your skin. Its zinc oxide particles reflect away sunlight, including harmful UV rays. So, it's a bit like whatever surface they're covering is in the shade. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, absorb UV rays and release their energy as heat before they can harm the skin. Now, you might think that all zinc creams are thick and a bit paint-like, but these days, it's not always true. Many sunscreens now contain zinc oxide nanoparticles, bits of zinc that are so tiny they can't be seen. These invisible creams work just like the traditional zinc creams do. Thanks, Natasha. So, whether or not you choose to wear your zinc like this, that's how it protects your skin from the sun. 